Family and friends of a St. Joe teen who was killed when he was hit by a school bus struggled to understand the loss. But on a Facebook memorial page for Mason Adams, someone posted disturbing pictures mocking his death. Christina Medina has the story. But we don't want to show you the pictures because they are so offensive. And we can tell you that some of the images have been removed. But the fact that someone posted them in the first place has friends of Mason Adams furious. It's probably been one of the hardest weeks of everybody's lives here, and we all just miss them. Kyle Kendall, along with about 800 other students at Lafayette High School in St. Joseph, lost a classmate this week. 16-year-old Mason Adams died Monday morning. He was hit by a school bus while walking to class. There's now a memorial at the intersection where it happened just blocks away from school. It's hard and everybody trying to get back in motions and trying to get back. It's just not easy. Friends started a Facebook page for the young honor roll student and baseball star, but someone posted offensive pictures making fun of the crash. Disrespectful. They need to find out who it is and they need to be punished. That is so disrespectful. This Mason was a good kid. Her grandson was close with Mason. She says it's been hard enough for these kids and now this. School administrators agree. It's appalling and uh, reprehensible and despicable and, and it, it's extremely insensitive to the family at this particular time. Meanwhile, his friends who hope to use the memorial page for comfort want to know why someone posted such painful images. Anybody who has a heart, nobody who has a heart could do that to somebody. I mean, a lot of us are angry about it. A lot of us, it just makes us all hurt just a little bit more. A community that's already hurting just wants the pain to stop. We have been looking into this all day and found out that the poster is part of a group who has posted similar images on other memorial pages. We tried contacting them, but they have not responded. Live in the newsroom, Christina Medina, NBC Action News.